Hi there, Frank here from Remac Trading Systems. In this video, we're going to continue our work with optimization. And as you know, optimization basically means we're asking a question. And the BTX strategy and NinjaTrader 8 together will answer the question for us. Now, today, the question we're going to ask is, what would be the best time frame for us to run our strategy, let's say, on four U.S. index futures? And let's say between 1 and 15 minutes. So definitely intraday timeframes we're talking about. Between 1 and 15 minutes, what would be the best time frame to run the strategy on? And because we want to save a little time and not over-optimize the strategy, we are going to say that, let's say, in increments of 3. So between 1 and 15, we're going to test increments of 3. There will be 5 tests. Ninja will crunch the numbers, and then we're going to look at the results. So a couple of things we'll need to decide before we run the test. For example, let's suppose this is a long trade. We're going to enter here. This will be our target. This will be our stop. And in this test, we're going to just simplify. We're going to go enter the trade with one contract. And we're going to agree that this distance, our target, will be 2.5 ATRs away from our entry. And conversely, our risk will be 2.5 ATRs away from the entry to the other side. So reward will equal risk. This is what we call a 1R trade. And in this case, the R reward and risk will be 2.5 ATRs. And the rationale behind 2.5 is imagine a Keltner channel, and this would be the midline, and our Keltner channel is 5 ATRs wide. 2.5 this way from the midline and 2.5 the other way. So if I say we enter usually around, let's say a long trade around the mid band somewhere, we go 2.5 for the target and our stop will be around the opposite Keltner channel. And that means that if price comes back here, we wouldn't want to be in that trade anyway. So long story short, we're just going to use this 1R concept for the trades. One contract, 2.5 either way. And since it's a one hour trade, something important and obvious mathematically is that our strategy will become profitable as soon as more than 50% of our trades are winners because the reward risk ratio is one. All right, so let's see how many percent of our trades will be winners. And we're going to run these tests now. So let's set it all up. And here we go. So BTX futures for index futures. I'm just going to choose the four futures. We've done this before, so probably there's nothing new here. The time frame, minimum one minute, 15 minute, increments of three. I'm going to choose a very long, relatively speaking, of course, four or five year look back period. So we have thousands of trades and the reliable database to draw conclusions based upon. So I'm going to start January 1st, 2019 up to today, June 10, 24. All right. And I'm not going to overcomplicate this. So I'm just going to go market order. I understand that there will be a little slippage here. We could squeeze a little bit more juice out of the strategy by perhaps entering with limit order. But this is just the first test, and uh, we'll see. Okay, what else do I want to look at here? One contract, position size, one contract only. Minimum target, 2.5, maximum 2.5. So I'm not optimizing for ATR targets. And the stop loss is also 2.5. The second position size is zero. There's no second contract, therefore no trailing either. And one more setting will be important here for me. And that will be that we want to close any and all trades at the end of the session. So we're strictly intraday in this case. Okay, so I click this, exit on session close. So I think I got everything. The profit and the target, 2.5. One R trade, one contract, four US indexes, more than five years, five and a half, and let's run the test. So this should take a few minutes only, and we'll be back soon. Still a few minutes left, so we're just standing by. All 
All right, so here we are. Let's look at the results. So I'm going to look at these numbers and usually I sort results by profit factor, NQ113. So as you can see, all of them are above one. That's very good news. That means all four are profitable. Let's look at the number of trades here. We want a lot of trades to be able to draw any conclusions statistically. And also we have the percentage, in other words, the accuracy ratio right here. Beautiful. Now you can see that we tested a very long four or five year period. And let's look at some of the results here. Okay, so the question that we asked actually is what would be the best time frame to run the strategy on? Let's see what the result is in the case of the NQ. And the NQ, it's 13 minutes. You see, 13 minutes right up here. You can also see here, by the way, this is how the optimizer works. Let me just show it to you up here, right here. So this 13 is the most optimum setting for the time frame in the case of the NQ. Beautiful. And if you want to see the equity curve, why don't we have a look at that graphically? Here's the equity curve of the NQ over a four or five year period starting January 1st, 2019 to today, June 10, 24. That's a pretty good equity curve by and large, although there are some big drawdowns here, but that's just part of the game. And also we're working with 2.5. So we may have to or we may want to optimize that later, but right now we're just focusing on the minutes. Okay, and let's look at the others as well. So how about the YM? The YM is also 13. Interesting. Okay, how about the next one, the ES? Here we go. Also 13, and the third best one is a 10-minute chart. Okay, so there's a little consistency here or similarity at least, and there's a 10 minute chart work best for the RTY. So this is how you can test for the intraday time frame. And of course you could be on a tick chart or any other chart for that matter, which is similar to this, but this provides a good basis and also certain level of evidence that these strategies are profitable on an intraday time frame. What else do we want to check? Well, further work you can do, for example, to check if results can be improved. For example, entering limit order instead of market order. That usually is able to save a couple of bucks here and there, a couple of ticks in terms of slippage or avoiding slippage actually. And also what else? You may want to play around, for example, with a three ATR target and a three ATR stop and some other ideas if you are so inclined can be carried out with this optimization test, with this approach. So just the first step, I'm happy to see, basically whatever I throw this strategy on, it is usually profitable for instruments, years and years and years of trades. Look at that thousands, 9,824 trades altogether over a four and a half or five year period. That's a lot of data. It's not just a couple of trades. It's not two weeks. Everything is in there. So, so much about numbers today. Thank you very much. We'll be back soon. And by the way, if you like this video, hit like, share it with other traders. Let's help others. And also visit www.remec.ca for further information on either our services or our strategies. Thank you very much and mindful trading.